What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at yet another Amazon movie, which I do believe is also on Amazon and on Netflix, because I watched this on Netflix, but it is starring Channing Tatum and it's his movie called Lost City, which is a comedy adventure. It is a comedy sort of traveling, going across uh, all these different places, and... It's an adventure movie. It's like Indiana Jones. It's like Alvin and the Chipmunks 3. I feel like it's more like Alvin and the Chipmunks 3 than anything else. It's more like Chipwrecked than anything else. With quality and with storytelling. I, if you couldn't tell by that reference, I did not like this movie. I I thought this movie was was pretty shit. But um, yeah, let's uh, get into what Google has to say. What the critics have to think before I get into what I think. And... Um, you know, why I think it's so shit, because you already know I think it's shit, so a little bit of a spoiler there. But The Lost City, it is a 1 hour 52 minute comedy action from 2022. It is a 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb, an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 4 out of 5% on Amazon. A novelist is abducted by an eccentric billionaire who wants her to locate a lost treasure. Chaos ensues when a model sets out to rescue her from him and that's pretty much it so how this starts off is with her writing a novel her trying to finish a story and you know she she doesn't she she can't write the ending she doesn't know what to write so she goes on this press tour ready to announce a new book with her actor friend well they're not really friends they're sort of like acquaintances work work acquaintances work colleagues and Shit goes down, she gets kidnapped, and he goes after her. He does take, like, a military specialist who ends up getting shot in the head, so leaves it all up to him. Daniel Radcliffe is the eccentric billionaire, and he's the one who wants this treasure, and they just spend the rest of the movie hunting each other through the wilderness, through the wild, with him being eaten by leeches, him falling off a cliff her being tied to a chair them going to a little village their clothes being in shreds and then them going back out to try and find it and ending up getting kidnapped again and uh locked in a tomb they end up escaping the tomb and there was like a death shock or like a sort of close death experience which was quite boring they meet up with the girl they arrest the guy and they live the rest of the days on the beach. And that is pretty much it. That is pretty much the movie. That's it. It's shit. It is a shit movie. The acting is the best thing about it. However, good acting doesn't make a good movie. The jokes don't land. I don't think they're funny. With all the leeches on him and they showed his booty. I thought that was just for like thirsty mums who were ready for a little bit of... Uh, Channing Tatum to return as Magic Mike, a little bit of those thirsty mums who are like ready to uh see some see some s. Uh, not for me though. Um, I did not enjoy it. I was quite disgusted. We also have her running through the woods in a giant purple dress, which they make a joke out of a good seven times. It wasn't funny the first time, so doubling down seven times wasn't gonna work. And the plot of the entire movie was shit as well, with them sort of going into the wilderness, going into the wild to try and uncover this ancient treasure, which turned out to be a letdown because it was love. The ancient treasure it was love. There was no gold, no magic. It was just love. It was just love. And these two end up getting together. They end up sharing a kiss, and that's when the movie ends. A very unfortunate ending. She gets kidnapped twice, and... You know, after the first time, you thought you'd be a little bit more careful and a little bit more on guard to where you're walking and where you're going. You know, just a little bit a little bit more on the lookout to see if you can see any of the men, you know, that are looking for you. You know, maybe a couple of familiar faces that you've seen in the camp you was in literally a day prior. But no, you walk straight into them. There's also quite a couple of other sort of issues with this that um, I don't want to bring up. Because... It is shit. The CGI, when it is there, is also crap. You can definitely tell it's not real. And it just feels low quality, low standards for a movie. And I, I don't know, I just feel like it's just a low quality, low standard movie. They didn't put the bar very high for this movie. The bar was quite low to begin with. 
And I feel like during filming, they lowered it one step further because the jokes were crap. The acting was the best bit about it. The story was shit. I would have preferred it if the story, instead of them actually finding an ancient tomb, if it was just nothing. There was nothing there. Because the whole point of her being kidnapped was because she wrote a book based on this ancient treasure. She wrote a book on this ancient mystery and she was able to read these sort of ancient glyphs. And I feel like that was a story. So the movie would be a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun if it was just a story and they were there trying to hunt for something that wasn't there, but they thought it was because of her story. I feel like that would have been a more interesting movie and a movie with a better message, like don't believe everything you read, don't believe everything you see, because I know a hell of a lot of people need to do that because Facebook is a fucking lie. With AI getting more and more powerful, you need to be careful with these new sort of fan-made trailers, these new images of everyone and everything doing random things that they're not doing it, it is a big huge mess that people need to watch out for me to be a little bit more educated on so i feel like that message would have been a little bit more needed than sort of oh the power of love these two acquaintances who aren't the best of friends get together and love each other through a life-changing event of being kidnapped that's a basic movie trope that's been done countless times before i have seen movies like this countless times before Alvin and the Chipmunk Shipwrecked. I feel like Alvin and the Chipmunk Shipwrecked was a lot better quality than this and had a better story. I thought the story for Alvin and the Chipmunk Shipwrecked was funnier as well. I'm going to be honest. This movie's like comedy was supposed to come from Channing Tatum and Daniel Radcliffe and they did not deliver. I did not laugh. I watched this with a stone face and it was just, just mediocre and boring. If you enjoyed this movie, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and if you actually thought this movie was good or not because I'm going to be honest, I don't think it is. I don't think it was. We have... That's it. That I have nothing else to say about this movie. It is just a low-quality shit show. It's just a low-quality shit show. Comedy doesn't land. The set design is good. The costume design is alright. Acting is pretty good. Jokes flop, story flops, animation flops. Everything in this movie is a flop. It's a, it's a flop, and I think I think it saw that at the box office because I don't think it performed that well. And for whatever reason, critics ate this shit up. Critics absolutely fucking loved this movie. They ate this shit up. They were absolutely numbing on this one, and you can see that from the ratings that I read out at the start of this movie. It has pretty high quality ratings compared to the rest of them i'm gonna say the ratings are a little bit higher up than what we saw before with a couple of other movies that we've reviewed recently but i'm giving it a four I'm giving it a four out of ten i'm glad i watched it because i wanted to watch it i regret watching it and it wasn't good so it is in the lower category of four out of ten so there you go uh, this is a shorter movie review as well because I don't have a lot to say. If you do want me to review any other anime, TV show, or film, please do leave them down in the comments below and I'll get on them as soon as possible. I'll try and review them as fast as I can. But remember, I plan my videos for a month in advance, so if you do have to wait a month, please do be patient. I will get on it and I will acknowledge your, your comment. There is a couple of other things as well. If you want to help support the channel, check the link in the description it can take you to my link tree where you can check out everything else that i have to offer as a content creator and my tiktok's on there my instagram my twitch my cameo my facebook snapchat everything like that anywhere you can find me will be on there and so press subscribe press subscribe if you made it this far in the video you obviously enjoyed it and you obviously want to see more so press subscribe Press the notification bell to be notified every time we upload a video because I do that five times a day at 1 a.m. In, here in the UK and America is five hours behind. So roughly uh, 1, 12, 11, 10, roughly 9, 9, nine o'clock for you guys in America. So pr pretty good timing. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye bye.